Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn how do we solve a hacker rank problem titled anagram. Now, what exactly is an anagram? The two words are anagrams of one another if the letters can be rearranged to form another word. Right? A simple example is if you take a listen and silent. Okay, silent is anagram of listen. There is detailed video explaining what exactly is anagram and how do you verify if given two strings are the anagrams or not. But here the problem is a little bit twisted. Let us try to read the problem statement and try to understand what is the twist in this particular problem. It says that in this challenge you will be given a string. You must split it into two contiguous substrings. Then determine the num minimum number of characters to change to make the two substrings into anagram of one another. Right? The first thing is you will not be given two strings, instead, you will be given one string. You need to split that string into two halves, and then you need to say how many characters need to be changed in the first substring to make it an anagram of second substring. Clear? There's an example out here. We have A, B, C, C, D, E. Now you need to split this into two halves like A, B, C and C, D. These are two substrings. Right? Okay. Now C is common. If you see here, C is common here. Okay? But A and B is unique to first one and D and E is unique to second substring. So if you can change this A and B to D and E, then the first substring becomes an anagram of second substring. So total changes required here is 2. Clear? Okay. It also says that in case if you cannot form an anagram of two strings, then you should return minus 1. Fine. We can read few more examples out here how the input will be given. The first line of input will be the number of queries and after that there will be one after the other one one query which basically is one one substring and it say that how many changes to be done like in this triple E and triple B. So all the characters like triple E has to be changed to triple B. Three changes are required. E and B. E has to be changed to B, then it is B, B, then okay, the changes required is 1. But if you say A, B, C, we cannot make an anagram because you cannot split into two equal substrings with a length of 3. So you cannot break into 1.5, 1.5, right? So when should we print minus 1? If the length of the string is odd number, right? Only if it is even number, you need to proceed to the next MNOP, two characters. X, Y, Y, X, they are already anagram. X, Y and Y, X, they are anagrams. No changes are required. So it is. Right? X, A, X, B and B, B, X, X. Right? So we had one B here and we had two Bs. One of the Bs will cancel here. Right? Then two X will cancel and only one A has to be changed to one B. Clear? I hope things are clear. Okay, fine. Now, let me just take up uh, this example once more and try to explain you, okay, uh, what needs to be done. Now, you had this X, A, X, B, then you had B, B, X, X, clear, after splitting. Now, you had B here, you had B here, they cancel each out. Now, you have X here, they also cancel it. You have X here, you have cancel. Right? There is only one left out. This is clear? This is the thing which is different. Okay? Clear? That is the reason why it is 1. But if you consider the first example A, A, B, B, B. Right? Now, all the 3 has to be changed because there is nothing common between these two substrates. Whereas, if you consider this X and Y and Y and X, you can just see Y was here, Y was here, X is here, X is here. So, finally, the substring is left out of uncommon one is 0. Clear? Things are clear? Okay. Now, I will try to uh, first solve this problem on a regular ID. Then I will try to copy paste it into this particular tool. Here I am trying to read a string. Uh, the size of the string out here is again based on the input which has been specified there. It says that the size can be up to 10 power 
4. That's the reason why I have considered this as 10 to the power of 4. Right? Okay. The next thing is, I need to find out the length of the string. In order to calculate the length of the string, I'm just going to use str len. And in case if the length is an odd number, then I cannot form an anagram. Right? So I'll just try to check out if it is odd or not. If it is not equal to 0, meaning it is an odd number, I'd like to just say that it is not an anagram or we cannot make it an anagram. Clear? Yeah? That's it. Else, I need to basically consider the first subset or the first half of the string as first substring, second half of the string as second substring. So, for this, what I'll try to do it is I'll basically consider from 0 to length by 2 as the first part and then length by 2 to the length will be the second part right so let us try to exam understand if the length is 6 6 by 2 is 3 0 to less than 3 that is 0 1 and 2 i'll consider the first part then 3 4 5 i'll consider as the second part and the method i will be using to verify the two substrings anagrams are not is the frequency table right i will basically use a frequency table of 26 alphabets okay initialize everything to zero i will scan the first half of the string you can say the first substring right starting from zero i less than length by two remember less than equal to is not considered right as i said if there are six characters right 6 by 2 is 3 so i need to consider only 0 1 and 2 i should not consider 3 that is the reason why i am using less than and not less than equal to right okay every time i encounter a character i will increment the value in the frequency array i will just write frequency of right the character is str of i but that gives me the ascii value between 97 to 122 Remember, it, it clearly says that it only has lowercase alphabets minus in either say 97 or character A. So, this will give me the index of the frequency table and that I am just going to increment it. Right? Okay. So, you can use this or you can just use this one. Right? Okay. Whichever you feel comfortable. Now, we have captured the frequency of the first substring. If you want, you can just print it and verify that have you uh, captured the frequency properly or not. Then once you are done with this, then we need to do the same thing with the second substring. Right? It will start from length by 2. It goes all the way till i less than length. And the second part, so here every time keeps decrementing, right? Now, let us try to understand in case if we had this input, like whatever was mentioned out here, A, B, C, C, D and E, right? What will be the frequency table after the first step? If I had the input string is A, B, C, C, D, E, this is the one and this is a split part after the first split part a should have a frequency of one and b should also have the frequency of one and then c should also have a frequency of one so this should be the frequency table the first three characters one 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 but after going through the second one a will continue to be having one right b will also continue to be having one C will be changed to 0 because we are decrementing it here but two new entries D will be changed to minus 1 and E will be changed to minus 1 right ok let us try to read this as E clear ok you can just print it and then observe it ok now if I only consider the positive values meaning which are only present in the first one which is not present in the second one then we get to know the number of changes which are required. 
right don't add up everything because if you add up everything 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 it turns out to be 0 don't add up everything either just count the number of positives the sum of positive all these positives right like for example in the other example we had a a a b b b so in that case okay if you had the input as a a b b b right so this a will be 3 after uh, the first pass uh, here a will continue to be 3 and then b will be again minus 3 right okay so here we just need to add up the sum of all the elements right okay now if you want to print this uh, the frequency table i think it is better to have a function okay, to print or otherwise i'll just try to write it here um i'm just trying to print all the characters here print f okay if you want to print the character and the corresponding uh, frequency right that is also perfectly valid out here the character is um, i is the index plus 97 will give me the character remember it's percentage c it will automatically print the character and then frequency of i this will give me the this is after the first scanning and once i complete this i'd like to just print the new line here right and later on we need to remove this okay this is not required if you want to post in the hacker rank it's only required in case if you are just verifying it for your understanding right this is after the second okay right and then we just need to perform the sum of all the positive elements so since we need to just perform the sum of all the positive elements and just run a loop i equal to 0 i less than uh, again 26 because there are 26 elements in the frequency array and i need to add up the elements if result if frequency of i if it is greater than 0 only then add up this result equal to existing value of result plus frequency of i it is negative i am not considering it and this is my final result Right, my final result okay quite simple let's try to run this program and try to understand let me try to give the input as a b c c d e right after the first substrings pass you can observe that a is 1 b is 1 c is 1 everything else is 0 but after the second one, you can just observe C is changed to 0, A is 1, B is 1, D is minus 1, E is minus 1. Clear? Okay. And you can also observe the final result is 2. Or you want to verify with other input like X, Y, X and Y, there is only 1. Right? In this, you can just observe X was changed to 1 and X remains as 1, but Y is changed to minus 1. Right, probably another new line out here would have make it much more better. Right, then we had A A A B B B. Right, so A is three and B is clear. Done. Okay. Then this code was only for our reference. So if you want, you can just comment it. Okay, or you can even remove. Okay, just going to comment this particular code. But now uh, the problem out there says that you will be given n number of queries, right? So in order to modify this, I'll just first need to read the number of queries, uh, queries or you can say number of test cases. So we need to read the number of test cases out here, right? And after that, for we need to repeat a loop, which is basically n number of times or q number of times, while q minus minus is greater than zero i just need to put operation and it will be better if you can just put everything uh, whatever you wrote here into a separate function and just call the function right i'm taking up this information uh, if you are returning the value let the, let the return type be integer and then okay collect the value and then print it right and then 
So reading the input there, nothing to be done. Clear? Okay. Then just need to call this function. Make an Right? Nothing to be passed because we are reading the string everything out there only. Right? Let me just remove all this information which is not required for you so that you can just see this uh, code in a short screen. Clear? Now, I'd like to run this, verify it, and then finally put it into hack. Uh, three inputs, I say A, 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 B, B, A, right? Changes record is two. And then I'd like to say X, Y, Y, X, changes record is zero. And then I'd like to write A, B, C, right? It is minus one. Perfect. Take this code, paste. This. Uh, pass the sample prefaces. Let's try to submit it. Done. Okay. Thank you.